In today's session, we are going to discuss project tasks and how they are used within workspaces. Tasks are used to facilitate various processes within the sourcing suite of products. For example, in the contracts module, they're used to track the authoring of a specific contract and then transitioning from authoring to review, from review to negotiation, from negotiation to approval. The system does this by using various task types. So for example, there are six types on the screen. You have to do, review, approval, negotiation, notification, and signature, all carrying different features behind each task type. The to-do task is the most basic. Think of this as like a checklist item. Review task is used as a facilitator between two different parties. For example, in the contract workspace example that I used earlier, the end user may want legal to review their contract. So they would create a review task and send it to legal for review. Approval is very similar to review in that you are sending it to a different user, except the function of the task is the actual approval button rather than the review button. The negotiation is sending to an external party like a supplier, and it creates redlining back and forth. And this is very popular when you're using the authoring feature. Notification tasks are used to set one-time or recurring reminders to users or a group of users. And the signature task is unique to the contract management module, which does require an add-on feature for e-signature. That task is used to facilitate the integration with the actual provider of the e-signature tool, such as EchoSign or DocuSign. Now that we reviewed the different tasks, there was one feature that I didn't mention, and it's the phase. The phase is used to organize various tasks through different phases of your project. So for example, if I am creating a contract workspace, I would have a phase for authoring, a phase for review, negotiation, approval. That would be a way for me to segment the different tasks in such a way that helps it be more easy to follow. By looking into the phase, I can see the different tasks and I have different tasks here. One of them that we mentioned is the to-do task. Now a to-do task is used as a checklist item. So when you're talking about a to-do task when in the workspace itself, it's something to remind the end user that they need to do something. So for example, when the end user creates a contract workspace, they might be asked to assign team members. So you would say something like, create or assign team members to the team tab. They would then go to the team tab, assign the team members, and then mark the task complete. For the review task, we use the example that the end user needs to negotiate uh, with the supplier and they want legal to review it before they send to the supplier. Review tasks are created off of documents. So if I click on actions, you will not see the review task here. This is true also for negotiation and uh, the approval task as well. Uh, to actually create a review task, you would go to the Documents tab and you would create the review task off of a folder or an actual document. Once you click, you will see that there is an option there for to create a review. You can also create document review tasks, negotiation tasks, and approval tasks off of the workspace. To do that, you would click Actions and View Details, and then you would scroll down to the task section and create Action approval negotiation, as you can see right here. The difference is basically what you're asking the end user to approve. So if I created it off of a folder, I'm asking the end user to approve or review what's off of a folder. If I create it off of a workspace, I'm telling the end user that they need to review the entire workspace contents, which would be the documents tab, the overview tab, so on and so forth. Now we reviewed the four main tasks, to do, review, approval, and negotiation. The final task is the notification task. It is created the same exact way as the to-do task. It carries additional features and functions, but it is created the same way by clicking actions, to-do, or you can create it off of the workspace itself. The final task would be the signature task. However, I've created a special video for signature tasks due to the nature of the features behind the signature task. For additional information on each task type, please refer to the advanced videos on each task. 